Today's video is made possible by Hulu Plus. For a free extended two week trial period, head over to huluplus.com forward slash TOT. All right, mates. I just got through throwing a shrimp in the bobby and now I'm bringing you guys a bottle of two of the latest greatest phones to hit the market. The Apple iPhone 5S and the HTC One Mate. Okay, so maybe I'm not from Australia and maybe it's not called the Mate. So check it out. You guys all know this phone. The Apple 5S has been out for a while since late last year in 2013. This phone's just come out. They're pretty relatively priced, but let's see what the two difference between these two phones and which one at the end of the day you'd want to spend your money on. Let's bounce. The Apple iPhone 5S size is in at 123.8 by 58.6 by 7.6 millimeters. The HTC One M8 comes in at 146.4 by 70.6 by 9.4 millimeters. Now, as far as weight goes, the iPhone 5S comes in at 112 grams. The HTC One M8 comes at 160 grams. So there you guys can see the HTC One is obviously, it's a little bit bigger, which brings a little bit more weight to the table. Now, maybe this won't matter to some, but to some folks, this may be something that's very important. So obviously the HTC One is a bigger phone but the Apple is definitely more portable. Now let's talk about screen size. The iPhone 5S has a four inch LCD display with 1136 by 640 resolution. The HTC One M8 on the other hand has a five inch super LCD three display with full 1080 resolution. Now this one right here is pretty much a no brainer. You can obviously see that the HTC One M8 clearly has a much larger, better display screen. It's got higher pixel density. It's got much more resolution. The only thing that's gonna make you go back to the Apple is if you're looking for that portability option once again. One of the biggest things though that I like about having a big screen and I have the Samsung Note 3 is having a really large screen makes media just really awesome. When you're looking at movies, playing a game or doing anything, having a big screen is really awesome. Now, the iPhone 5S is a really cool phone, but when I look at my friend's phone, for me personally, the screen is so small, it's hard for me to even see stuff, even the icon. So if you're a person like me and you like to be able to clearly see something, you might wanna consider that when you're making your purchase option. Next up, let's talk about processor power. And this is one area that gets a little bit confusing for a lot of people because the iPhone 5S, it has a 1.3 gigahertz, 64-bit A7 dual core chip that features one gigabyte of RAM. The HTC One M8, however, features a 2.3 gigahertz Snapdragon 801 quad core chip with two gigabytes of RAM. Now, most people right off the bat are going to say, okay, obviously quad core, dual core, it's just going to win hands down. I mean, obviously, if you have four arms, you can do more than two, but that doesn't actually seem to be the case. There are some tests where the A7 actually kicks ass on everything. And Geekbench 3, for example, is one of those tests. The iPhone 5S and single core tests got 1,411 multi-core 2,558. The HTC One M8, however, got a single core score of 906 and a multi-core score of 2,379. So you can see right here in Geekbench that even though the A7 is a dual core processor, it's also very efficient and this test, it just kicks ass. Now let's look at 3 d Mark iStorm Unlimited. Now this shows the HTC One M8 coming ahead at 20,675 with the iPhone 5S coming in at 14,986. So you can see from the test scores, folks, these things actually jump back and forth, but at the end of the day, both of them are just really kick-ass, high efficiency, efficient processors. They're actually quite snappy. Now let's talk about something that also confuses a lot of people, battery life or milliamp hour life. Now the Apple iPhone 5S, it has about 1600 milliamp hours on it, where the other phone, the HTC One M8, has about 2600 milliamps on it. Now this is one thing that's gonna get confusing because both these phones will last about a day. And you're gonna go, well, how can that be? The 2600 has so much more. Well, that's not really so much true at the end of the day because like I said, both will last you for a full day. But the Apple phone, it has a much smaller screen. 
and it also has a much smaller tank, which we'll get to in just a second. So the HTC One has a much larger screen, lots of more pixels going on. The battery life on it is actually going to take more power, but because of the efficiency of both these phones, they're going to last you about a day. Now, if charging things really fast, though, is your thing, obviously the smaller tank that the Apple iPhone 5S has is going to charge faster than the about 2600 that the HTC One M8 has. So that gets people a little confusing because they're going to think, oh, wow, 2600, it's so much more. But at the end of the day, with the efficiency of the Apple phone, they're about really close. Now, for me, I have a Galaxy Note 3, and this thing will last literally about three days. So both those things pale in comparison to that phone, but they do pretty good for what they do. Now let's talk about cameras. The iPhone 5S features an 8 megapixel 1080p video capable camera. The HTC One M8 features a 4 ultra pixel 1080p camera as well, but features larger pixels, which is better in low light. Now the HTC One, it did a pretty solid job of taking pictures. They look pretty good, but I gotta say that the Apple iPhone 5S, the pictures are much sharper and the detail is actually much better on that camera. So this is the iPhone 5S at 1080p. Me and Buzz the dog here, giving you the waves. So now we're looking at the HTC One M8 at 1080p. Me and Buzz the dog once again. Now, one thing that the Apple iPhone 5S features, it has a 720p, 120 frames per second slow motion mode. Now, this thing's really cool, and we're going to show you that right now. Now the HTC One, on the other hand, has a 1080p slow mode effect, but it's at 60 frames per second. So while the resolution may be higher, the actual slow mode effect is not going to be as well as on the Apple iPhone 5S. Here, however, is a perk that the HTC One M8 has above the Apple iPhone 5S, and this is their new Duo Phone technology. And what this is, it's actually two four ultra pixel cameras that takes two separate shots, one of the foreground, one of the background, and then mixes them together for a picture. Now, this has a lot of different uses and can actually be used for a lot of different things. Now, we found clarity could be a little bit iffy, but it actually is a really cool feature, because think about it, you can either have the background image be very clear and the thing in the front it can be blurry or you can reverse that so it has a lot of different things you can do with it now we've taken a few pictures with that we've just touched upon a little bit but you guys can check that out here and see what you guys think now let's talk a second about security you guys all know that Apple phones, they come with their fingerprint reader technology. I mean, you can unlock your phone with your fingerprint. Now, some others have them out there. You guys know this, but the HTC One M8 fails to have this feature. So that is something that actually differentiates them in the security area. Although if that doesn't matter to you whatsoever and sound is your thing, here's something that separates the man from the beast big time. Now, the Apple iPhone 5S, it has a single speaker on it. Now, with the new HTC One M8, you get this new boom sound, which features two stereo speakers, one at the top, one at the bottom. So you get that full stereo sound right out of the HTC One M8. So you get much better sound clarity in stereo on the HTC One M8. So if sound is your thing and you don't want to wear headphones, obviously this is something you're going to want to consider.
before I wrap this video up, folks, I want to give a big shout out and thanks to Hulu Plus for making this video possible today. So I know many of you PC users out there know what Hulu is, but do you guys really know what Hulu Plus is? Because Hulu Plus is like a whole different level. Hulu Plus is like taking that standard video card, slapping a water cooler on it, and getting the absolute most bang for your buck. Just all kinds of content. Now, with the standard Hulu, you can only watch it on your PC. But with Hulu Plus, baby, you can take that on the go, on your tablet, on your phone. With Hulu Plus, you can catch up on current shows, binge on old favorites, or watch a great movie. Stream as many TV shows and movies as you want, anytime, anywhere. You can also check out exclusive content including Hulu originals like The Wrong Mans and Behind the Mask. Best of all, you can watch all of this content in HD. Now, I know a lot of people always ask, how can you guys support the site? Well, at this time, you can support the site and get your guys a free extended trial period just by going to huluplus.com forward slash T-O-T, where you can enjoy Hulu Plus for two weeks. All right, folks, so there you guys see it. A lot of difference between the HTC One M8 and the Apple iPhone 5S. Now, me personally, I think I'd go with the M8 because I like the bigger screen. I like to do a lot of stuff on my phone that involves looking at it. And so if you want something that's gonna have a much clearer screen, you wanna go for that one. Like I said before, if portability is your thing, you might wanna look at the Apple iPhone 5S. Now, me personally, I am not an iOS fan. It's not my thing. I'm really more used to using Samsung and the Android software, so that's gonna be more up my alley. I know opinions out there vary, so if you're a person who's obviously who's in love with the iOS software, you're probably gonna go, you know, the HTC One M means jack crap to me. But if you're somebody who's just looking for features, you can see that these things both have compelling reasons to buy either one of them. At the end of the day though, what I see is I see the HTC One having a much bigger, much better screen. Obviously, the battery life is about the same, so that's gonna be a shake off at the end of the day. You guys heard, the Apple Apple iPhone S will, the Apple iPhone 5S, excuse me, will charge faster, but I don't think it's gonna really matter to too many people unless you're constantly on the go. And nowadays they have all these battery charges and all that stuff, so I don't think that's really going to matter. Let me know what you guys think. Also, we'll have a full article on this by our man Zane, so you guys can check that out down the link down there below the like button. If you guys like this video, you guys know what to do down there. So I'm Eric, thanks for watching Tech and Tomorrow. We'll see you guys back here on more videos of more technology coming very soon. See you later.